oh my god you guys <laughs> look at this hand are you kidding me ah oh, it's gonna take forever to take all that off i bet you anything i'm gonna have stained hands for the rest of the day but that's okay i'll do anything for my chickadees let's move on to the big baggie here so um I picked in here, this was at a, a JCPenney, and they had the Sephora Favorites Fall Into Beauty set. The, yeah, the Sephora Favorites one. And this was on sale for $16.99, as you can see right there. And with my discount, I was like, man, I gotta pick you up. Like, that, it would be like a sin to not pick it up. Are you kidding? At such discounted price. On top of my discount, I was like, oh yeah. You're going to be mine, that's for sure. <laughs> so I picked it up, and I love these bags that they come in. I actually have used them to travel before. But then you open it up, and there are the goodies. It brings you a full-size uh, uh, Kat Von D tattoo liner in Trooper, and this is what it looks like right there. So, such a nice um, liquid eyeliner. I really like it and I'm glad I got the full size for only $16.99 actually less than $16.99 like are you kidding me? This, this, I, I basically paid less than $20 this alone pays for the bag not even because it's $20 off of the regular price and I can pick it up so then I got a full size Formula X by Sephora um, in the color Illusionary and that's what it looks like. And I think these are alone like $10 or so. So, or eight bucks, I'm not too sure. But regardless, you already, in these two products, you already have the value uh, like l more than what I paid for this bag. So, and are you ready for this? Because I was like, what? I got a full size Urban Decay eyeshadow duo. And it brings half baked and twice baked. And this is what they look like right there. They're so pretty. But can you believe that? This is $20, you guys. I, I couldn't. I couldn't pass up on it. I just I can't get enough of it. I'm so excited. Oh, my God. Then I got uh, Melted Piney by Too Faced. The liquid, um, what are these? Liquid lipstick. Yeah, the liquid lipstick. And this is probably like my third or fourth sample that I get of this guy, but that's okay because I'm gonna make one, one of my friends happy. I'm gonna pass this along because why not spread the joy, it's Christmas. And then um, I got their real sample and I like this little guy. I've never owned the full version because I get so many samples and I just keep using them. I like this guy. And then last but not least, I picked I got the huh? Tarte Amazonian Clay um, Blush in Classic. And that's what he looks like right there. I thought it was a really pretty color. And I love the size of it. So teeny and pretty. <laughs> Cute. So that's what I have here. Like I said, I just couldn't believe that it was so cheap. But, I put everything back in here. Let me put it to the side. Then, I picked up another Sephora Favorites. And this is the Makeup Must Haves. And this is a Sephora, uh, a JCPenney exclusive. And so was this one right here. But this one what is a, it was $39. As you can see, it's priced right there. And that, those are the goodies it brings. Let's take a look. So, in here, it brings... A full size. Are you ready? Stila liquid eyeliner in black. Do you guys remember I told you I had a full size version in my drawers? Yeah, that puppy went back because when I got this, I was like, okay, then there's no point on me having two. So I returned that one, and of course, with what I got for that one, I picked up more goodies. So it worked out perfectly. I was so excited. So I got a full size version of my favorite at the moment. And then um, this one, I got another Tarte blush, and this one's in the color Pampered. And that's what it looks like right there. I thought it was very pretty. And then another Their Real Mascaras. I told you guys, I can never buy the full sample, full size, because 
the samples are just perfect. <laughs> and then another Urban Decay eyeshadow in Midnight Cowboy Rides Again. I just thought it was such a beautiful color. Then it's got the Chocolate Soleil uh, Medium Deep Matte Bronzer by Too Faced. And these just smell so fabulous. Oh. And this is what it looks like right there. And there it is. Oh, the chocolate smell is like everything. Okay, two more things. It brings you a um, Kat Von D lipstick in underage red. And this is what it looks like. I kind of scraped the top of it, but this is what it looks like right here. I thought it was a really pretty red. I don't think I have any reds like this in my collection. There's a swatch of it right there. It's very orangey. I like it. And then my favorite part of it um, was the Photo Finish Primer Water from Smashbox. But it's not just this because I already have the full size. It's the size of it because that means that it can come with me when I travel. So part of the most, actually the biggest reason why I picked this up was this guy and this guy. So I picked this one up because of these two and um, the rest were just a, a bonus. So I'm excited because it's the same mister and I love how it like it mists. It's like very fine mist. It's not just like and it gets you completely wet. This one is perfection. Like the, the sprayer or whatever you call it is the most perfect because it, it like sprays the most perfect amount on your face. So I like that. Let me put this away real quick. So we're moving along. Oh my gosh. I wish you guys could see my tabletop because it's like filled with all kinds of stuff <laughs> that I just showed you guys. Okay. I'm still in this bag. Oh my gosh. I was going to pick up another one. Another thing that I have been wanting for actually since it came out, I had been staring at it, but I was like, no, um, I need to calm down. I don't need it. You have way too many contour. Or actually, I even tried going the cheap route and buying other ones, like the Ulta one and stuff like that, the contour palettes, and I was like, this is just not the same. And believe me, I was kind of obsessed with the Ulta contour palette because it was so inexpensive, but I find that the powders just don't stay, and um, it was a bummer because I really was so excited to use it. But the one I picked up is the Kat Von D Shade and Lights palette. And this is what it looks like right here. And here are all the shades. Let me take it out and stop teasing you. I just thought, oh my God, I swatched this when I was in the store and I always swatch it. Oh, that's neat. So it brings you like a little uh, pamphlet. So not a pamphlet, but like a little guide so that you can contour your nose and stuff like that. I thought that was nice. Um, but I swatched these in store and like that mirror, you guys, all these new palettes and stuff, they're killing it with these mirrors. I love it. But, oh my gosh, these these colors, though, are so beautiful. I can't wait to use this one in the middle. It kind of looks like um, the banana shade that I have from Ben Nye, but this is the, um, the pressed version. And then I like this one on the side, too. I don't know what you're called. Hold on. Oh my gosh, I can't say these. But these two right here are what I'm excited about. But these colors I feel that are so beautiful um, to bronze and to contour. So, oh my gosh, I can't wait to play. The chocolate range is just stunning. And for bronzing, it's just perfection. And I hear that these are super blendable. So I cannot wait to play. So I picked it up. I waited so long. Ah! Okay. Next thing I picked up keeping it in the Kat Von D family, is the Liquid Lipstick in Double Dare from Kat Von D. Oops, there you go. And Double Dare, right there. Let me open it up for you guys. So I guess I'll go on the bottom. Okay, so this is what it looks like right there. I just thought it was so beautiful. I swatched it and I was like, um, excuse me, nobody told me about you, why? It's just such a beautiful color. And this is what it looks like right there. Kind of reminds me, like, on camera, it kind of looks a little, um, well, it, looks, it looks the same. So that's what it looks like right there. It's so beautiful. So I want to actually, I wanted to actually wear it today because I'm wearing a color that's kind of similar. 
but I, ke I am keeping my promise. I promised you guys I would show you everything, so I haven't used any of them. Like I said, once I turn the camera off, it's on. <laughs> so let's move on. What else did I pick up? Oh, have you guys heard? I picked this one up because I saw it at the store and I was like, I'm kind of intrigued. And for the price, why not, you know? Um, and this is the Nude Sticks. That's the brand. And it was it's a double-ended pencil. Let me take it off so I can show you. So it brings a mirror, which I thought was pretty neat. Um, even though it's a little bended, but I think the idea is pretty cool. So here it comes in this little box in here. So it brings you the pencil right here. This is what it looks like right there. And then a sharpener, which I thought was super neat. Like most companies don't do that. So that's really neat. Um, and then the color I got it in was, what color are you? Highlight medium and contour deep. And let me tell you something. These colors do not lo look like they're deep. Um, I think that the color range that they had was a little misguiding because I don't think, I mean, if I picked up this color, I don't even think that's that dark. So even for me, I feel like it might be a little too light, but nonetheless, I still picked it up. So, and this is the highlight color right here. I will swatch for you. So that's the highlight right there. And this is the, um, the, um, contour side but the, I'll show you them up close this is the contour side and this is the highlighting side and this is the one that sold the most because I thought it was sold out and I had to ask and it was underneath because the other shades are like way lighter and I feel like this one should have been the one that's in the middle maybe or like the first one because it's not like I said it's not too dark but I'm excited to try it because I've never done cream contour with, like with the pencil, so I can't wait to try that. That's why I picked it up, and the case was just so cute. I thought it was perfection. So, are we done with this bag? We're done with this bag! Oh my gosh. Okay, moving on. We're almost done. On to the pretty tote bag they give you that is so cute. Um, out of my way, thank you so much. All right, so in here I have the Lolita Lip Duo. I had to pick this one up because I don't have the Lolita one. All the I have um, Vampira and Double Dare, which is the full size version. But let me take it out of the. But I don't have uh, the Lolita one in full size because it's always sold out. You guys know already how that goes. So let me swatch it. They're so cute. Look at they're so itty bitty. And I feel like it's perfect for, like, when I'm not wearing a big purse. Okay, so this is what they look like right here. Which one's Lolita? Okay, so this one's Lolita and this one's Lolita 2. So the one, this one's Lolita and Lolita 2. This is what they look like right there. So let me do a swatchy for you. Okay. So this is Lolita right here and this is Lolita 2. That's them swatched. I'm sorry so many swatches are here. I need to, like, clean that up. But you know they're going to be almost impossible to take off once I'm done with this video. So <laughs> I think that's why I'm like, eh, whatever. We'll wait till the end. So the last thing, no, from this bag. Last thing from this bag. It's not the last thing. I got, I picked up the Cinema Secrets um, brush cleaner. And this is what it looks like. This, I don't know. I, I thought it was going to be bigger. That's what happens when you don't read how many ounces. But the reason I picked this one up is because it brought it brings this like tin thing. So you can like put your product in here and then clean your brushes, which I thought was pretty cool. But then the size It's a baby. I thought it was going to be bigger, like taller, you know? But it's no big deal because I'm glad in case I don't like it, you know, then that way I didn't spend too much money. But um, I've heard nothing but great things about this, so I can't wait. So let's move on to the last baggie. And let me move stuff out of the way because I'm running out of places to put all this stuff. Okay. Let's get the tissue out of the way. Thank you so much. I'm starting to sound like Desi and um, Katie from um, Luster Lux. Oh my gosh. You guys 
have to follow them on Snapchat. They are hilarious. Those two make my day every day. If you're ever having a bad day, you can count on both of them or one of the two to make your day much better. I swear, they'll make you laugh. <laughs> Guaranteed, put a smile on your face. So, okay, I picked up the uh, Boxum eyeshadow bar. So I have been wanting to get this for quite some time, but I picked up the empty and you can put, um, I put six shadows together for it. So let me show you the shadows that I picked up. So you pick up this empty and you can pick up six and that costs $40 or each shadow is $14. So do the math. Absolutely. I picked up the six shadows for $40. So that's what I did. And these shadows... Oh my god. They're just like... Ah! I dropped one. They're just like love at first sight. So I'm going to try to put them together so you guys can see them. I had to go, by the way, I had to go to so many Sephora's to finally find these. They were sold out online, the ones that I wanted. And I was like, no, I'm not settling for any other ones. I want what I want. And I'm not going anywhere else. So it's okay. I picked up these and I'm so glad that I did. I finally found them. It took me, I was like searching high and low and I was like, I'm not giving up. I will find you. I will find you. <laughs> and I'm so glad that I didn't give up because I did end up finding them. So I picked up Lala Lavish and uh, you know what? Let me tell you which ones I got and then I'll take them out of the package. So I got Lala Lavish, um, Schmooze, uh, No Fox, uh, Patent Leather, Pure Platinum and Invite Only. This package is not friendly, is it? Oh, okay, 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 got it. I figured it out. Da, 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 da. Okay, here we go. This is what Lala Lavish looks like. And it's a dual chrome. Um, swatch it right there. Oh man, this is so hard. I have so many swatches on me. But do you see it glowing? It's that one right there. It's so beautiful. So I picked that one up, and then I picked up um, Schmooze. Let me take it out of the packaging to show you. I might break a nail doing so, but I don't care. I'm on a mission to show you guys. These are so beautiful. So this is what it looks like right there. This beautiful blue. Let me do a swatchy for you guys. I'm committed. Oh my god. So I don't have anything like this in my collection, which is why I was like, yes, you're coming home with me. But then this one, No Fox, it kind of reminds me of the blue-brown um, shadow or pigment, actually pigment, from MAC. And the eyeshadow, no, pigment from Makeup Geek, I can't remember the name of it. Insomnia? I think it's Insomnia. That it's, it's actually almost identical to the MAC one. But this is what this one looks like, right there. Let me do a swatchy action for you. Mm, oh my God, where am I gonna swatch you? Right there. So there it is right there. That was not the best swatch ever actually, but you can kind of get, you got, you. I think you can kind of see it, you kind of get it. So this one is patent leather. Now this one, I was like, eh, should I pick it up? It's kind of purpley, I don't know. But then I swatched it and it was just like, whoa. Of course, you are coming home with me. So it's like a metallic-y purple. I don't know if this camera's doing it justice, but it's just stunning. So I definitely picked it up and I, I don't have any silver in my collection at all. Actually, I think I do, I have one silver eyeshadow. I think it's an Urban Decay one, but it's just not nearly as potent pink minted as this one this one was is like no primer no nothing holy cow intense hold on let me swatch it for you guys so this is what it looks like right there this is swatched like i had the hardest time getting this out of my fingers when we were in the store i was telling samantha i was like oh my gosh are you kidding but there it is right there like I see you for New Year's Eve. I'm wearing you. I just know it. I see you in my future. <laughs> That's a fact. Okay, and the last one is invite only, and this is what it looks like. So I decided on one transition color. 
just so that it's not just all like vibrant colors because that's what I want it vibrant colors on this sh um, eyeshadow palette but of course I decided to go with one that um, I could at least put it in my crease so it's not just like all vibrant colors and I have to mix and match with other palettes so this one is uh, invite only this is what it looks like right there and I'm out of fingers let me see if I can swatch it for you I can't well, you can't really see it but anywho that is all my eyeshadows that I got from Boxum and I can't wait to put the palette together oh my god this is such a disaster in front of me <laughs> Anywho, that is all for my VIB Rouge um, Collector's Items Edition. <laughs> Can't believe I just said that. Anywho, this is uh, that is all for my um, VIB Rouge sale haul. And as you can see, I think I had a little bit of fun. Um, I picked up quite a lot of things, but that's okay because I'm going on a no shopping spree for um, quite a long time after this. We'll see. I'm trying though. I'm trying, you guys. I I was so good. I have not. I this year I've not become a VIB Rouge yet, which means I've not spent too much money at Sephora. So come on, you got to give it to me. That's pretty good, right? So it's almost the end of the year. That's I think that's pretty good. So anywho, that is all. Thank you so much for watching, my chickadees. I've missed you so much. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I will catch you on my next. Diary entry. Until next time, un besote. Bye.